Welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 4 with our Tibet playthrough. In our last episode, we acquired uh, Lower Doab from uh, Adwa. And uh, we acquired uh, several provinces here from Vijayagangar in order to also surround uh, Bahamas and, uh, and Nagpur to acquire them later. So we're going to start uh, letting our manpower reserves recover. And we may be able to uh, annex this vassal now. We're going to keep our mercenary levies uh, in the fold here for now until our manpower has recovered. And then we should start uh, really raking in the cash. We also have a lot of overextension to deal with. Now let's check out what kind we can get for advisors here. take the uh, quartermaster as our advisor for now. We got a new type of cannon here. And we'll just actually just go to the production building. Uh, we'll start adding some new structures to the fold here. Okay, so uh, that works out for us. We've got some new buildings. We need to start uh, influencing folks. Sin likes us. Adwa. More concerned about uh, Baluchistan. They'll actually be a uh, arrival here. We're going to improve relations with. Uh, Shan when we can. Uh, they're starting to get close to the uh, vassalization range here. Which would be a really nice gain would be their territory. we got the uh, a coalition against us Bahamas not too concerned let's see how we're doing for Okay. 
Well, we're still trading out of Bengal, primarily. Making a good bit of cash there. Another Republican tradition hit. We're starting to get a little bit low. It's going to make stability a pain to recover from. And these provinces are starting to turn uh, a little bit more profitable for us. I don't really have the manpower such that uh, I'm happy disbanding my for uh, mercenary forces. So things are looking uh, pretty good for us here. Don't have to worry about the overextension uh, too much more. Got a growing military coalition against us. But uh, they're two fairly uh, relatively weak powers. BJ Gar is probably still reeling from our last uh, battle where we wiped out uh, so many of their units. take uh, the diplomatic reputation improvement. Oh, 
hopefully eventually we finally uh, reach uh, admin uh, admin uh, nine here and ten to get the new ideas. Stability bonus, can't complain about that. see another uh, substantial advisor there. It kind of hurts a bit. Mm. Don't really have the cash to go for the... Uh, well, actually, we can start disbanding some of these mercenary companies. Yeah, so I feel fairly confident now taking the level 2 advisor. As we hunt out more mercenaries to disband. Mercenaries will recruit some regular forces here. Almost regretting it at this stage, having done that. There's gonna be a lot of men to do the rest. Let's hope this doesn't uh, continue. making a good bit of cash here. Okay, and while we're just uh, running the clock, we'll actually take a moment and uh, check out uh, the known world right now. So, powerful Great Britain... Uh, Brittany's still kicking at this stage of the game, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Uh, same thing with Burgundy. Aragon is hanging on by a thread. 
And a quite a powerful Castile controlling uh, half of Italy. Uh, strangely powerful uh, Bosnia. Ottomans uh, about historically accurate sort of positioning. Uh, uh, certainly Lithuania, Timur still up and kicking. Uh, Ming about uh, historically accurate. Not uh, ravaged by revolts at this stage. Might give it time. Portugal is uh, starting to uh, colonize. Okay. I think uh we'll go ahead take the uh bureaucratic candidate. Good time getting that uh, administrative technology up. So we can start thinking about uh, what we're going to do for our next idea here. Generally, the plan has been to go with uh, aristocratic ideas, but we may uh, shift that a bit. Naval ideas may uh, help us out a fair bit, especially when we start encountering Europeans. We also could get a lot out of trade ideas, a lot of extra cash. And so, diplomatic could also be another avenue. So I think we really need to look at either diplomatic, trade, or uh, aristocratic ideas for our, our next idea. It's a hard choice. We do get a good number of advantages from uh, from our our uh, our Tibetan ideas track to help us with our uh, reputation, as long as we're cognizant of it. That's what's really important. See where we sit for our force limits. Still well under. We'll build another. Band of units. And we'll see what we can do here for buildings. Momentarily, just after we start our next conversion, which will bring us to... I uh, have 100% religious unity. We have almost uh, annexed Tengu.
And Shan is pretty sitting pretty good for um, for uh, preventing us from annexing them. Still have a reasonably uh, robust uh, coalition against us. I don't really want to risk angering more of our neighbors right off the bat here. Lucasdan really has us beat uh, technology-wise. A little bit more cash here. Oh, it's a new national decision. Uh, we're able to pass that mining act. Which is uh, just some more cash for us here, which will be nice. Okay, so we'll get our temples out here. Hold off on those. Get uh, some armories out here. Where's that constable? There we go. Couple constables out here. Republican tradition is starting to get uh, dangerously low here. And uh, looks like uh, Kachar is uh, finally going to get knocked out. Well, that's not really much consequence to us. Would have been nice to, uh, to get that territory, but it's been such a fight, I'd rather just see it out. Take a stability hit here for some more uh, Republican tradition, but uh, we'll, we'll just boost that back up again. And we'll get back to our uh, building programs here.
And we finally inter integrated uh, uh, Tengu into our realm. And uh, we'll convert their culture. So what I'm going to do is uh, just end this episode here. In our next episode, we'll likely start acquiring some uh, new territory. And uh, we got to deal with some uh, culture issues here, but uh, nothing too substantial. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.